MK. So this is a motor uh, in terms of how we make sure it works the same as OE. Since everything is designed in-house, we actually have a bench test that tests this torque, speed, amp, you know, the work output, work input, things like that. And then we'll line up, of course, our design versus OE that we are reverse engineering from to make sure that we can match in terms of specs. All right, so work seed. Probably some of yours are better than theirs. Uh, some. Yeah. Since for some, we also run durability tests. Jeep. Yeah. Yours is probably better than the Jeep. Yeah, or the Caravan. Crazy. The Caravan's Caravan. horrible. The old 307 Caravan, that thing is... Nice. That's good. Horrible. That's great. As long as we always keep building parts like that, we're, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always think that Chrysler is the junk. Biggest <laughs> contributor to our industry. Yeah, <laughs> it's a regular business, the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, every every Dodge Dakota Radiator is going to fail at about 94,000 miles, 90 to 100,000 miles. They're all going to fail. Yeah. So, so, of course, you know, when we go make it, we have to put it through our testing as well. Like, uh, we do a 20,000 cycle on our test. So, it's up, down, rest a little bit, on, up, down, 20,000 times. So, sometimes when we use the OE spec, for example, we try it, it's, like, it's not going to last that long. So, we have to know, change a little bit. All right, so one thing, for example, 9907 Chevy Silverado. That thing is huge, right? It's a dual track cable. The OE motor is like a little bit smaller than this. And they were like, why does OE use such a small motor? I test it, like, this is not gonna last very long. So we actually make the motor bigger. Three and it's the same with the shaft. Right. Three millimeter goes to eight. Uh, this is more of a compared with the Competition. Dormant. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Just say dormant. We're, we're good with it. <laughs> okay. So this shaft, of course, is not just a joint section. It's also the shaft diameter itself, right? Well, ours, we used to use nine millimeter, just like the OE. Whereas, you know, this is where they can cut costs. It's behind inside motor where people is not going to take it apart. Right. So you might look at it on the outside, but once you take it apart, then see where they cut costs. So would you guys say that when you're building motors and so forth, that you're building as close to OE spec as possible? Well, TYC you know, builds OE. You build OE regulators anyway, don't you? Like for Toyota or... Uh, not this line. Not this line. Not this line, but you do you know, build OE, OE parts. It might not be mess. this right. yeah. part, but it's but well, you most there's the, a side of TYC yeah. that builds OE, right? Yeah, so most of the OE... Product's gonna be lamps, majority of it. Yeah. Okay. And we do have some surface part for OE, but not the manufacturing. What do window regulators account for your percentage of sales? Uh, right now, it's probably it's just not a, a lot. Ballpark. Probably. So you need us. They need us. They need you. TYC needs you. They do. They need. I'm there for them. I'm. I'm here to answer the call. There. Okay. They need you. Yes, that's why we're pushing this line. Yeah. We know there's a market for it right now. It's mostly Dorman. And Cordon. I don't think Dorman's doing that good job. Cordon. They are. I think much less. In I think it's just the motor. That's when I bought that Cordon motor. I think it was just the motor. Yeah, and Cordon is the only one that's still doing the whole rebuilt motor thing. Right. For when the regulator, I mean, anyone else does that anymore. And I don't even hear about them on the field. But but people don't. Uh, they don't. They just call up for a window roller upper, and mm -hmm. you know, get whatever they get. And they they need to make have the education to know how to make the difference. Right. Okay. Um, of course, we also pay attention to our regulator design. And bulk of regulator is going to be pretty simple, uh, mostly just stamped metal, use some plastic component to keep the metal parts together. <coughs> However, there's also a little design, such as hooks and whatnot, that's baked into the brackets that actually are functional. For example, uh, this one. Uh, this one, actually, the hooks help you mount the motor bracket onto the door. So do the OEs have the hook? Yes. So there's holes in the door that's yeah, it's for those. Yeah. punched, stamped in the door to put that thing in there until you bolt it on. That's nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, nice. So it's a pain in the ass to put that thing in there. Yeah, because the door is like a shell, like a turtle shell. Yeah. And you're working in the middle, and you 
you're working in the blind. Yeah, no, so you're you can't totally see. blind. Yeah, so these little hooks are actually there to, so we can put it onto the provision that's already on the door, so things like that's that. That's a good selling point for sure. Mm -hmm. So so the OE doesn't come like that? Oh, the OE does. does. They do. But, yes. but the doorman does doesn't. Not. See, they don't have that tool that makes that additional stamp at the end, oh, that little tab. So you got to okay. find the hole with that bolt or else it's not going in the And the spot. thing is that it's heavy and it's and right. it's in the middle of the wind. It's, well, it's this hands. wide to get your hand in yeah. there. That's, a, that's, that's good. That so nice. little things like that, you know, we pay attention to. I mean, that it's functional. There's a purpose for design. We will make sure we have it as well. Ease of install. So same thing with the gear type. <laughs> that's a good idea. Right, so we actually have this additional piece right here that connects this bracket all the way to the center. The reason for that is that this keeps this in the richness, it doesn't move. Right, without this piece, this whole thing will be filling around. Yeah. Okay, so that's, for example, yeah, compare design. Okay. Right, so when you, again, wedge this thing into the door, you have pieces of metal that's just dangling. It's going to be really hard for you to line up and bolt things on. Versus this keeps it rigid, so you can't keep it in place and just bolt it on. Seven, eight years in. The cable, the cable's on the Okay. And sometimes, of course, so without this additional piece, essentially you have something like this where it's just going to dangle freely. Right? So with those, usually you only have little hooks on there just like this as well. So again, it fits into a provision that's in the door to keep it in place. So we always have those design. That's well. nice. Okay. And you know, little things that you can look out for too in terms of metal stamping. The competitor a lot of times they'll just literally be flat surface like this. Okay. So that of course for metal is going to be weak because you don't have any kind of support. Whereas for us we always crimp it just like the OE. Like the same thing as here. That's how a little crimps. But this is not for looks. It's not to look pretty. Just to make it so it's stronger. Right, same thing with these little yeah. <coughs> okay. So common filler. The biggest source of filler for window regulator and the demand of course is gonna be wear and tear. Okay, collision, there's gonna be some, but side collision that's very rare. Uh, not saying you won't see any, but that's not bulk of demand in the marketplace. So in the marketplace, you usually wear and tear. So a lot of it, I would say the biggest contributor is going to be the OE design. So the OE design is not very good. It always breaks, it fails. Like I wanted to mention, you know, at certain mileage, it's going to fail. That's where you're going to get a bunch of demands coming in. Does the OE have um, replacement parts to, to repair them? Or do you have to do, get the OE in it? Uh, OE, again, they'll sell it usually regulator or again, regular plus motor assembly, depends. For certain, OE is not as consistent, so for some applications, even the same make, they will sell it only as an assembly, whereas for some, they will sell it separately, like the regular itself or the motor itself. Well, not to mention, if you're talking about the gear, like the plastic gear, to get that out, you got to get into the, this assembly to get it out, which, what's the point in doing that? Yeah, so. It doesn't make any sense. Place the whole thing. Yeah. OE service it. Uh, yeah, so usually assembly or regulator motor separately, and that's about the level they give you. Okay. <coughs> so previously mentioned, again, the cable, this thing is tensioned, so as it works over time, either the cable becomes frayed, but usually when the plastic gets worn down, you lose the tension, the whole thing unravels, then your window all of a sudden just drops down, and you say, how is it dropping and loose? I know for some vehicle like the maybe 3 Series, for example, the problem is actually the glass bracket. <coughs> so it's actually uh, this piece here. Because this piece, I think for the BMW 3 Series, is all plastic. Uh, the OE? Yeah, the OE. Oh. A lot of it is actually all plastic for beers like Chrysler, a lot of it is also right. the GM, it's all plastic. For that, for whatever reason, the way they made it, that plastic was kind of weak. So actually the bracket breaks when your glass drops. So when that cable breaks, the glass is going to drop. Yeah. If they run the switch, the motor is still going to... The motor might work for a little bit, but eventually, essentially you can see that this is actually a spindle. Because the cable is loose, essentially everything gets jumbled in here. Okay. And it gets stuck. It's okay. Stuck. So it's going to work for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. 
I guess. Okay. And you take it out, essentially you have a jumbled mess over here. Right, okay. 